What's up YouTubers, welcome to my channel Fun to Fix, where this time I'm going to look at fixing my Porsche 911 997 Carrera 4S convertible, this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the bumper, when these cars come they seem to do not put any mesh in the areas down here, so therefore you have behind here some condensers. So what happens is you get stones, muck, leaves, everything just gets in there, blocks them up. So I need to uh, get that cleaned out, get some meshes in place to stop that happening in the future. So first thing first is let's get this bumper off. So I need to jack it up, get the front wheels off because I need to work with the inner wheel liners as well. So let's do that. So we're in a position now, we've got everything set up, so I've got one of these, which I think they're like hockey pucks to call them, they basically fit into the jacking points on a Porsche, so there's a little hole underneath the jacking point, that'll fit into that, and then sit nicely on my low profile jack, which I've got here. So I've got the jack, I've got the puck, what we need to do now is just loosen the wheels, so obviously when you lift it up it's going to be much harder to crack the wheels. So let me just go get the bar and loosen the wheels. I have a bar with a protected, protected nut on that. So, here we go. Okay, all wheels are cracked, so let's uh, lift it up. do is when I get this up in the air, I'm going to put this on axle stands and continue working on it. Some of these shoulders don't look very good actually, but that's good because another job, I've got another job coming on which I'll also video and you'll see that job. And that's uh, it's going to replace these nuts anyway, so or bolts. So I'm not too worried about the state of them. There she goes. Okay, I'll put that over here. I'm back in the front leg edge, not the back. That's uh, wheel one off, so let's. Uh, Axle stand. And see how we can put that. So I've gone and done both sides now, so the car is jacked up, so now let's see if we can get this bumper off. I'm hoping you don't have to pop the headlights out, but I think you might have to, because there's probably a nut underneath those. Let's see if we get this inner wheel trim off. Pop 
as complicated as that, looks like I've got a lift. I can't, I can't see what I've got a lift. Now that won't come out. Press down. That presses down. That's it. So it's got a little metal clip on there that presses down. Let's take it off. Okay. Let's check that to see if it's LED. I don't think it will be. No. Oh, they're orange though, I do like the orange ones. So looking inside, there's nothing hidden in that panel. There's definitely one screw here. So let's get that off. On, uh, how these headlights come out and I'll just uh, have a look on uh, Google for that find out what I need and hopefully we'll get that sorted I'll be back having uh, googled it you don't have to actually take the lights out even though I have managed to get the, the light out of this side you don't have to do that um, what you need to do is and I'll try and get this for you on camera is there's a little clip inside here so we're just we're just there near the headlight and I'm talking about this place here there is just a little clip in there which if you can see I'm gonna get that into the hole there and it's just a matter of dragging that out that is the one that holds the wing and the front bumper together so it's it's coming up so bit by bit I'll we'll try and get that out and uh, that is the one I don't think I can get the, the grip on there that's the only thing Come in so let me find something better I can grab that with because that's not very good and uh, and then we'll pull it out and I'll show you when I pull the clip out okay I've now managed to uh, bend a little screwdriver an old screwdriver I had and I think that might do it so let's give it another go so that's got it there and then pull ah there you go so that is the clip that you need to get out so it just pushes in across there and that holds that to that okay so we do that both sides and then we should be able to set the bumper out so I'm gonna put that in there and the other side hopefully it'll come out easier now I've got a better tool so, oh, it's a bit deeper this one Oh, fantastic easy so yeah don't need to set the headlights out brilliant because I was having trouble getting that one out for some reason my uh, makeshift tool that I made to get the headlights out because I haven't got the official Porsche tool just doesn't seem to be turning that one I got um, the right hand one out but I couldn't get the left one out so what we need to do now is to remove the bumper okay I'm ready so I've done a little bit of jiggling um, there's a couple of bolts underneath, so it's the cover that goes underneath the actual bumper. I need to take a big bolt out right in the middle that bolts to the frame so it wouldn't come off with that. So I'm released at this side. I'm released at this side, you can see the gap. So I think now I can just ease it forward. Now I haven't disconnected anything for the eyes, I'm not too sure where the wires go. So what I may need to do is put it down lower and then disconnect. There'll be the washers for that, which I need to find, and obviously the power for all these. 
So let's have a look, see what I need to disconnect. This feels pretty tight at this side. So I'm pulling on something here. Okay, I can see a wire here and this wire right. Okay, there's a plug under there, so that's the plug for all the electrics at the front. So let me uh, just cut that strap, that's all in. Somebody just put a tie wrap to all this, so it hasn't been done properly, so I'm gonna cut that. The worry is there's a red wire going in here. I'm not sure if somehow I'm gonna have to disconnect that. Okay, let's see where we get to. A big plug. Okay, looks like I've disconnected the wire. Um, so this was the wire taking all of the power to the lights from inside. It's also got a side light marker on it. Uh, there is a red wire here that looks like somebody's put that in for some reason. I'm going to have to put a connector into that. It looks like oh, it's going out there somewhere. Let's see where it goes anyway. So that side looks it's nice and loose on this side now. So that side's coming off. I just need to see anything that's I haven't seen the uh, water yet, so that's going to be on this side, I would think. Oh, there's another great big wire. Oh, okay. So there's another great big plug on this side. Oh, no, that's the. Ah. So that could be the water pipe. Looks like it's a, a way, but it's, you know, ah, it's coming to the water jet, yeah. So I'll just have to disconnect that water pipe. Right, hopefully. Not uh, convict right that red wire, yeah, it goes into a right mess down here. So, I'm gonna. Oh, there's a connector. Is it a connector? No, it's all. It's a right mess, this. So, I don't know if put this in, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that red wire. Is that a connector? Ah, oh. no, it's a crimp. Pretty sure that's a crimp there. I'll cut it and I'll, I'll change that and put a proper connector in. So I'll just have to remember that when it comes to put it all back together. So what I'll do, I'll just take that red wire to that so I remember it. Make sure it's loose to come in the bumper. Which I think it is. Put it back. Yeah, it looks like someone, because someone's put these, um, they're not DRLs, but they're LEDs at the front now, which is not standard for this model of car. So because someone's put that on, then they've had to rewire it all. As I say, when I had it in the garage for some work, they said the wiring's not very good. So I'm going to make sure the wiring is good. One of the jobs that I'm going to do on this bumper, so just another one of the many jobs. Right, hopefully this should now come off. He says. So it's looking... That should be off what we got now. So I seem to have back where I've got this horrible wire. There we go. And that's all needed. Oh, I've not. <laughs> so I've unplugged the washer, but I've not unclipped the washer, so I just need to pull out of that uh, clip it's in. There you go. Hopefully now we have a separated bumper and we do, there we go. One front bumper off a Porsche 911. Oh, okay, so the, uh, I previously had some work done to the front and uh, I think they cleaned all the, vent they cleaned all the mess out from inside those uh, air ducts there anyway. So that is clean at this moment, but obviously it's gonna get dusty again and messy and leafy. So I'm definitely gonna get the grills fitted. So yeah, so I've got a lot of work to do on this bumper. Certainly tidying up that wiring because it's a mess. So, so yeah, let's, uh, let's strip it down. Okay, so I've got this bumper off now, so Obviously I need to, uh, need to work on it in a better area than this. 
So I've got a panel stand and we're going to lift it up and then we can start taking off all this uh, stuff from the inside, getting it ready to go to get it sanded down and hopefully get it spread up. So let me get a panel stand. Alright, so I've now got the bumper on to the stand. And yeah, as, as I was told, the wiring is terrible. Now, I mean, you do all this work putting a body kit on with this bumper, and then you actually make a mess of that. Look at that. So, I mean, that's going to need some sorting out. Um, and who, who the hell does that? Just like some sort of a join or something in there? So, really, it, it all needs putting in right and clipping in right. So, that's another job to do. Now, what I'm going to do is take it out for now. I've took photos of it, so I remember where it goes. So I'm going to get it out uh, along with these uh, these jets. So these things here, the water jets that clean the headlights. So that's all powered by this this tube here. So I've took photos. That tube lays there. Uh, I've took photos on so exactly how it all goes. Um, not sure these jets come out. I think they just look like they pull out the bottom of there anyway. So I'll just see if I can just pull them out. We'll get that off, and then we'll slowly start dismantling it, taking out these wires, where this red wire goes, and what it's supposed to do. I think it's obvious. Oh. Don't go anywhere. Well, there you go. Don't need that at all. Brilliant. All right, so that can come off. So while that's still in there, I don't know. So I did not need that red wire. So I'm gonna to to trace it back inside the car and find out where it actually came from because it might have uh, power on it. So that's good. So we don't need that, which is brilliant. So yeah, it's a matter of, um, I'll take all this wiring apart and look at, look at the mess. It, they've just cut into the original wiring, I think. That's what they've tried to do here. Jeez, that's going to take some clean up. But anyway, it'll get sorted. Actually, look, it's not too bad. I think it just needs um, just a bit of uh, re-wrapping, just so it doesn't get um, pulled apart. And obviously this needs clipping somewhere. So I don't know where this is supposed to be clipped, but I've got some little sticky clips, so I'm gonna, I can put them on when I put it back together, so I can easily clip that up. That's not any problem. So I've got to remember that the plug is fed from this side and the wiring goes over there so actually it's not as bad as i kind of envisaged it to be yeah that's worrying me there because that looks like that's hardwired into this light here so i'm not sure how i'm gonna get that off but anyway let's have a go let's see what we can do and see where we get to but we need to take all this off anyway um so obviously the back of these this is where i need to put my mesh across here under here and across those so I'll be looking at some way of doing that meshing. I'll, I'll figure that out. I've got some mesh. Probably need some more looking at it. It's bigger than I thought it was. Uh, the, the piece that I've got is, is only that big. So I need to uh, have a look at that. But that's not a problem. We'll sort that out. Um, this should come off easy as well. I think I'll just push it. Yeah, it's just clipped on. So that should come off quite easy. So I'll probably take this off first. So I'll remove some weight from the bumper and make it a bit easier to work on. So I'll put the camera back on the stand and then you can watch and what I might do is just, I can fast forward if it's just boring and maybe stop if I find anything interesting. Just putting the sides I've come from. Alright, so I didn't realise the front part that was damaged is actually a separate lip. Interesting. It's going to make it easy to, uh, to sand that down, isn't it? It's got a lot of damage underneath, as you can see. Lots of scraping. See, it's quite low, this car. Uh, I have to be careful from that one, really. But yeah, so that's good. That's a separate piece. So for now so I just need to get the wiring out of here so this bit at the back is, is actually part of the bumper which I didn't realise it's all part and parcel of this bumper looks like you, you can either have the lip or not have the lip so I'm just going to have a 
look at the wires and see what colour goes to what. It's really hard to identify though because the colours are a mess. All things are a mess. I've seen wiring like it, it's terrible. So whoever fitted this was certainly not an auto electrician. So now we've got everything out, uh, what we're going to do is take the bumper outside and give it a wash so it's nice and clean to work with. Okay, the next step is we're going to try and get the mesh fitted on this piece here. I'm going to do it in three separate pieces, so I'll have one piece for this, one piece for this, and one piece for this. I might have to split this one up um, because I'll have to go here for the LED, and then I might have to put another piece in there, separate. But I'll have a look at that when I get the other piece of mesh. I've only got one piece of mesh at this moment. I've got another piece on order coming. So, hope that might here tomorrow. So, let's do that one. So, let's have a look at this. Let's get this mesh out and see if we can get it fit in that gap. So, this is black aluminium mesh. That way, we're not going to get any rust. It's all nicely coated. And this should fit nicely in like that. So, that I think will look pretty good. And it's done. But obviously, I've got to trim a load off and decide how I'm going to actually fit this on. So I'm going to start by trimming, so I'm going to get this ends exactly as I want, as much length, which is about there. That's going to go down there. And there. So what I might do is bend this mesh into this area here, and then I can blob some sealer in there and then do the same, bend it over here and blob some sealer on there, cut out this bit here because the water pipe has to go across here so that will lay against the mesh, that's fine as long as I clear this bit to allow water pipe to go under there. So that's looking good, um, so how many diamonds have I left on? One, two diamonds there. So if I trim this very similar. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get some masking tape and I'll be able to put the masking tape along on here and then trim it to the masking tape. That should give me enough wrap over for the top bit. So let's tweak that. And what I'll do, I'll put a slight curve in it so that it sits nicely. and properly sprayed by a, a spray shop. They've done that for me. So I've got the bumper done, I've got a lip in the back of the car. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to put all of the bits back together in the bumper, but I'm also going to put some mesh in to cover the open grills here. So the air intakes, I've never had any mesh in, all leaves come in and get stuck on all the condensers, radiators, etc. So I'm going to put some mesh in there and uh, get it all sorted, ready to go back on the car. So hopefully by the end of this video, We'll be fitting it back onto the car. Let's get into it. So I made this mesh earlier 
um, I actually shaped it, it's got a nice little curve on it as you can see, this is going to be the one in the middle, the only problem with this is I've got, I've got no way of securing it, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to actually stick it down with some Sikaflex, so that actually sticks to the actual bumper using that. Okay, so I've used the Sick and Flex just to stick that down and that should have put a bit of weight on there, some paint tins just to keep it tight because I want it tight to the grill on the front so it's quite nice to stop any leaves etc coming in. That looks okay, so that was the hardest one. So for the other two, um, what I've done with the other two is I've done screws, so the other two side ones should be able to undo those screws, pop them on and lock them down and that should be them. So let's get that done. So I pre-made these and I put the uh, left hand side on there so I know which side that came from. So there we go, that should hopefully just fit nicely into place. Over here, which it does. So let me take all our screws out and then we can get this in. in place looking very good uh, I'm going to need to let that dry so we'll just let that dry and then uh, we'll come back and do some of it okay so it's been a couple of days now because when I actually started putting the bumper together uh, when I clipped in the front lid I found that the uh, front edge here wasn't actually being painted it was still uh, primer on there so this is the edge of the lip as it's actually clipped in <laughs> The actual spray shop, I actually missed both ends of that off and it was just primer. So I've had to take those back in, so I had to halt to uh, work on it because I didn't want to carry on until I actually got that done. But um, while I was waiting, I've actually, you saw, I think on the last video, so I've got the grill grills in on this side here. So I've done a little screw thing to fit that there. This I've just fit in with Sikaflex, so it's just been stuck down, so that's all in. Uh, looking really nice, I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome of that. So now what we've got to do is, uh, I aim to get this bumper back on the car today. So I've just got to get all of all of this lot installed back into the bumper. So we've got the, the washer jets for the headlight washers. Uh, we've got the LED um, turn indicators and uh, fog lights and, you know, and the wiring and all of the uh, water supply to the actual jets. So let's crack on with that and let's get this bumper back on the car.
now ready to fit back to the car. So let's do it. Porsches have this type of clip here. It's very interesting, and it slides in at this joint here where the bumper joins to the lights, and then it holds onto a couple of little tabs that are sticking through from the bumper. So you just got to get that in right. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Okay, so that's the bumper refitted. Went on quite easy, to be honest. Um, it looks like you've got uh, one, two, three bolts there. You've got them special pulley things there that was saying about. So you've got to pull those out. So they just pull straight out and they they just locate on two tabs inside there. So there's one of them each side. That's the other one. And then you have um, one screw which is just, that's the side marker, it's just underneath, underneath the side marker there, just goes straight in and bolts this panel to this panel basically, through a plastic bracket that's on there. Uh, underneath there was three bolts, centre bolt and then two outside screws, and that really is it, so that's gone on quite easy, I was quite uh, pleased with that. So yeah, um, now it's just uh, continue on. So what I'll do now is I'll get the wheel wells back in. So the uh, wheel liners. I've actually put new discs and pads on while I've had the wheels off, so it's, uh, it might well need doing. So let's get it done. I'm also looking at putting uh, spacers on, but I might put that in a different video. Uh, it's, it's quite easy anyway, but uh, it'll be just a nice interesting uh, video to, to watch. So yeah, so um, I think the next point is, is we'll get the wheel liners in and, uh, and then we'll get this uh, front assembled and I'll talk about that. So one thing I did want to show you is a little issue that I had with my uh, inner wheel liners or fender liners as the Americans call them. And the fact is that um, with the car having the GT2 bumper on it, I think these are possibly the original uh, liners that came with the car. So if you look on this one here I've got this these little cutouts here, which probably went around the existing bumper as it was before But they leave two little holes now when I put them on the car There's actually they don't uh, cover themselves up So we've got some holes there so we could get water and muck inside the bumper itself So I don't want that to happen. So what I've done on this one. I've done a little bit of a plaz welding Let's get that light right. There you go. So Basically, I've just welded, uh, I know it's not a great job, but this is just the inner wheel line, and you're not really going to see that much of it. Um, so I've just got a couple little pieces of plastic, cut them out, and just welded them in with a soldering iron, really. So on the back, I put some pieces on at the back first, so they'll support these uh, pieces I've put on the front. So I plas welded those uh, two bigger bits over the holes on the back there, 
and that meant I could then cut some pieces out from the front which is very similar to the shape that's there and uh, and then just uh, plies weld them in with uh, basically a soldering iron so that's all I've used uh, to actually fill that so I'm just going to do the other side now uh, so that they're both the same and we'll fill in those gaps so I'll get on with that and then we can fit the liners on after that okay guys now it's time to get all of that lot onto there so let's go guys that's uh, the front all done I've just left the battery cover off because I've still got the battery disconnected I'm still doing another way headlights back in all looking good so yeah that's it for this video if you like what you see then give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'll catch you on the next one till then fun to fix see you later